Fellas, you ever take your girl on a trip, but you secretly broke? <laughs> like, you're not broke when the trip starts. But you know, once you get back, you done. <laughs> you homeless adjacent. She, if she see your bank account at the airport, she's gonna be like, ooh, we should take a break. Like, you should get back on your feet. <laughs> Ladies, y'all don't, don't know the stress it is to be on a vacation and you the only one thinking about money? <laughs> you and your girl having two separate trips. <laughs> your girl having the trip of her lifetime. Frolicking, splashing in the water, signing up for activities and shit. FaceTiming the homegirls, wish you were here. You're like, nigga, me too, nigga, to put in. Shit. She having the vacation of a lifetime. You on the other side of the beach, just doing beautiful mind math. Just, just doing secret geometry. Just adding up all the totals so far. Like, why is she way more hungry on this island than she's ever been at home? Who needs room service at 3 a.m., you hungry, hungry, hippo-ass nigga? Go to bed. You there stressed at night, like, I'm gonna have to get a job here <laughs> so we can go home. You ever been on a tropical island, door dashing on the low, nigga? <laughs> I'm dropping off fries to nigga before I get back to my hotel. You ever had to sell your recreational weed? I took the time out to sneak it, and now I gotta sell it. <laughs> This is supposed to be my weed. Now I'm out there with the locals. I got the weed. Nah, nigga, I got the weed. I, I got the from the States. It's hurting me to sell it to you, bro. I was on this trip in Cabo just tricking, just bleeding money. And then it rained for two straight days. I was like, look at God. Won't he do it? God was making it rain because I couldn't. It, it, that's why he's always on time. <laughs> this ain't even a joke, it's a vent. Like, <laughs> when you broke on a trip, it turns you into a, a negative na Nancy. You a pessimist. Every fun thing your girl suggests, you find the reason not to do it. <laughs> Babe, let's go jet skiing. Ooh, that sounds fun. You know I love jet skiing. However, uh, <laughs> did some research. Those are shark infested waters, babe. Nothing but shark, shark chella, all, all that, under the water. I wouldn't fall off, that's all I'm saying. And the water looks very choppy, so you know, if I have to rescue you, I swim better in the pool. So, it's gonna be a longer rescue time. Fine, fine, let's just rent a boat in the ocean, me and you, can we do that? Ah, yeah, let's do that. Just, but just remember, we're in the Caribbean, and what do they have? Pirates. Yes. <laughs> they didn't make the movie for nothing. Gotta be based on some kind of actual events. Last thing I'm gonna do is spend all this rent a boat money and now some skinny African hopping on the ship talking about he the captain now. Not, not with all the money I spent, sir. We're gonna have to co pirate. I'm gonna die over this deposit, my nigga. Fine, fine. Let's just, let's just, since we can't do anything, can we just go into town with the locals and like just dance at a nightclub? Can we do that? Yeah, that's cool. We can do that. You love, I love popping a bottle. Let's do it, but just remember, we're in another country. <laughs> and women get taken. <laughs> Kidnapping happens all the time. So regular, they don't even have Amber Alerts out here. You just get a text from the government saying, Amber, gone. <laughs> we tried, we couldn't find her, reset. So if they come in here trying to snatch you up and it's more than three, I got hands, but if they got tools, I'm... <laughs> I'm not Liam Neeson, I'm Liam Nye, son. I tried, but I'm officially single. <laughs> <laughs>